this is a sort of action thriller drama starring O.T. Fabganelli. Easy Fab for you Ganelli. to say. I don't know. Uh, some dude. Uh, and he plays uh, this guy called Ash, who at the beginning is a customs officer who uh, sees crime everywhere he goes and know, takes crime personally. <laughs> he, he gets recruited basically halfway through by this sort of shady organisation. Yeah. Nothing to do with by any means, honestly, not at all. They're called UNIT. Again, nothing to do with the shady <sighs> organisation from Doctor Who called UNIT. Um <laughs> It's not even well, you know. There's no imagination here. There's it's, a lot. It's just so. At one point, ugh. they're tracking down a, a baddie. Um, you know when they, there's that thing where they recap everyone's yeah. backstory, and you know, arrested 15 years ago for this. this, this. They call him Xavier, but I'm not quite sure why. Why? Because <laughs> his name's Nige. Yeah. Yeah. His, I don't it's quite... like John Smith. Nicknamed Xavier, yeah. we're not sure why. Yeah. Yeah. That is the laziest of lazy scripting ever. Yeah. And the whole just, thing is just So yeah, and it, awful. it comes to a point basically his his partner is very is badly injured in a mm. car chase. Uh so he wants to get revenge against Paul K with dreadlocks who's Who's a, who's a drug dealer in it? That was the, what I liked. Is I would love that to be the name of the character. They call him Paul K with dreadlocks. Nobody's sure why. Um, and it, it basically ends how you would expect it to yeah. end. I just it's one of those shows that has got no redeeming values. What no whatsoever to speak of. Marcus Ashton, I came to offer you a job. This organisation's bigger than anything I'd imagined. You cannot keep taking these risks anymore. You can't do it. It's just money. It's never just money. Cops, lawyers, they can't get me. Yeah, you know that thing we were talking about? Yeah, I need one. Find us someone bigger. The biggest. Guns. Shooting. Me. Come on, I've run a mile. Brand new original British drama. The Interceptor on BBC One. I mean, the only thing I can say is that uh, Lorraine Ashbourne and I think it's Ewan Stewart, the other actor, who plays sort of the higher ups in Unit, are quite mm, good. In and, Unit, and Trevor Eve is playing the, the big baddie in this, and hopefully he'll get more to do rather than just recite one line like he did. I am predicting there will be a five-minute scene in a dark room mm, where, with Reeves some shouting. moody, mu- no, with some mu- moody music in the background, where all it is is just Trevor Eve stroking his beard. I think that's what it's going to be. Going, I'm Trevor Eve. <laughs> I'm Trevor Eve, damn it. Because <laughs> he, he can never speak like this. He always speaks like this. <laughs> Trevor Eve. <laughs> oh, Waking God. the dead. <laughs> no wonder he wants the bloody dead. He's so loud. The lead guy, O.T. Fabganelli, um, yeah. he seems to have been cast for his physique rather than yeah. any sort of acting prowess. Well, I quite like that he's he's got his acting style in his name. What's that? He just needs he just tea. needs another T, and he'd be <laughs> sorted. Uh, this is. I'm sure someone will make that joke. Uh, I'm sure they will. But I, let it be known that I made it first here on the podcast. I don't know how well you remember it, but I remember it for different reasons. Watching the first ever episode of Luther, mm. uh, ever. And just watching it and thinking, oh, this is cheesy. I, He's just yeah. so annoying. You're say it's the same really thing cliche. I'm but I don't know because we're but not Idris that connected. Elba makes it work. Yes. Yes. And I find myself getting more and more drawn in. And then after a while, I understood that the bonkersnessness of Luther is why I liked it so much. But it's Whereas... not so. It's not as bonkers as Luther. It's not. It's never no. bonkers. It never. I no. think the problem is, is that it doesn't quite know if it wants to be sort of mm. on like a real world level, like a sort of grimy look at, you know, the mm. drugs trade, or it wants to be this big flashy spooks Luther type thing. It's sort yeah. of confused and therefore yeah. it slips into sort of the the middle ground where it's just dull. 